Hello everybody, and welcome to The Neverhood, presented to you in all its super VGA glory. Yes, that's right, don't go uh, complaining, oh, HD, should be in HD. I can tell you right now, what you see is what you get, the D is not going to get any more H. So, <laughs> uh, 1996 I believe this game came out probably about the last time I played it. Uh, I think I can remember actually a lot of the puzzles in it though, um, which is quite amusing that uh, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast this morning, but I can remember puzzles from a computer game from 13 odd years ago. So <laughs> 17 years in fact. I can't even count. Uh, yes. Anyway, this game is all done in claymation. Uh, this all hand-built sets. If you, uh, there was a documentary on how they did it on the install CD. Uh, it is a very simple point-and-click adventure game. We will wake this guy up. That's yeah. That's pretty much it. Point and click, point and click. I'll just do. Oh, it opens the door. Eventually. What was I going to say? I don't remember, so it can't have been very important. That's it, yes, I was going to say, I do remember that you have to write down a lot of stuff. There are a lot of, uh, puzzle clues that, uh, will come into play later on as you progress through the game, so... I've got my pen and my piece of paper handy. don't have to worry because you can't actually die in this game. Well, actually, that's not true. You can. There is one place you can die, but as it says in the manual, it's very clearly marked. So, uh, yes. Don't need to worry about it. Now, I'll show you down here because I'll never come back here. This, uh, if memory serves, is the hint what passes for the hint system in this game. Uh... Very obscure hints, as I recall, really don't have any meaning. A bit like a, a Nostradamus prophecy, it means absolutely nothing until after the event, and then all of a sudden... Oh, that's what it meant. <laughs> Please feed my pet flytrap, he eats ring food. I do not, but will he? Right. And that's sort of the calibre of the hint you get in this game. So fairly obscure. Right, that's not the way out. Uh, I believe... I think it's this one. Yes, but... <gasps> oh no! So, what he means by feed the uh, flytrap thingy... Puzzle solved. Uh, I don't know if any of these do anything. Other ones. Uh, I 
think that is actually a... I'm gonna write down cowbells. Because I've got a feeling that's something you might need to know later on. I don't remember how much later on. <laughs> um, okay. Now we are outside. Don't need to go back in there. one do you need to go through first? Uh, ah, hang on. This one here I think is where you need to go eventually. So here's our puzzles we need. I need to unlock these bolts. Alright. Oh, First one I'll do is in here. I don't know, I don't remember which order is which. Which one's the first, which one's the second, and which one's the third. Uh, these things, little video disc things, there are, I think there's about 20 of them, and you do need them all. So you do have to find them there. Uh, that one opens the door back out, I think. Yeah. Right, now to get through this door, we have to do this puzzle. Um, I'm no good at these puzzles. It's one of those uh, magic face thingies. Um, what you need to do. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be embarrassing myself in this. You need to make this into an H. H for, um... I was about to say Hoborg for a second. Uh, yes, Hoborg. It is Hoborg. I keep getting confused with Hoborg and Hodor. <laughs> um, I might need to speed this up a bit. Because I'm really getting stuck. some of these scattered around the whole sort of world. And once you've filled them all up, you actually get a uh, bit of exposition on the whole backstory. Um, right, is 
is that a light switch? Yes. Right now, this this is a long, long corridor, and it takes forever. You can actually read this stuff now. I did. I do remember spending a long time reading it all. It's actually really cool. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now because it takes forever. I would recommend if you uh, want to play this game and you can find a copy of it, I would recommend taking the time to read it though because it's actually a very interesting whole lot of uh, background information on the, the creation myth of the, the Neverhood universe. And there are in fact one or two bits that you can sort of crop up in the game, you can see them. And I'll try and remember to point them out. But for now I'll actually bung this into fast forward because it, as I said, it takes forever. have to get this. I don't remember this window. Ah. <laughs> well, there you go. Not very memorable. Now we have to go all the way back again. And we are back. I hope that was as exciting for you as it was for me. Oh, nearly froze for a second there. 